Today I'm here with a Unity Press Model H Press. So this is a self-contained press or an all-in-one, depending on what terminology you want to use. This one here has the 42-inch utility head and buck on it for dry cleaning applications. So right now, as you can see, we have the machine. We just finished testing it, so it's missing some of its trim. It's missing the padding and whatnot. But it does help us show the features of this press really well. And today we're going to walk through the quick start guide on how you would actually set this press up. So. As you can see, let's just go over a few simple components on it first. Uh, first main component we have on it is the boiler. Okay, These Unity Model H's come with a Hoffman brand 12 kilowatt boiler built right into it. Okay, As we move around, this is the press piece that we're most familiar with. Like I said this one is a utility dry cleaning press. When you zoom in on it with this application here, you can actually see all the holes for the spray steam to come out of. It means we don't have the padding on it or the grid plate. And as we move around, we actually have now the vacuum system. So over here we have the blower. This one's a single phase blower. And we have the control for the blower here. So as soon as you receive this press, first thing we're going to do, let's talk about utilities and how we actually hook it up. So over here around the back side of the blower, um, one thing I am going to point out here, we have two different motors we put on these. They're essentially the same thing. Black ones and a blue one. If you have a blue one, don't be alarmed. It's the same thing, form, fit, and function. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hook your water supply up into this fitting here. As we look at this, as the water comes into the press, it's first going to go into this strainer. If you take this plug off there, you'll, relieve the, you'll release the strainer basket, which will keep contamination out of the pump. Then it goes to the solenoid. The boiler uses the solenoid to turn the water coming in on and off. Then it goes into the pump. Okay? Some of the other hardware on this machine, down here at the very bottom we have a drain line. You open this ball valve here, you can see we actually have our drain hooked to it because we're going to drain this boiler after testing it. But if you open this ball valve here, it'll drain all the water out of the boiler. We recommend only doing that when the boiler is uh, off and under no pressure. You know, it should be cool water at that point too before you open that. And as we move up top, we have another ball valve here. This would be used for, really this doesn't get used a whole lot, this would be like a vent um, opening. So if you're draining it out down here, when you open that one, you can open this one here to let it drain faster. You could also use this for an accessory if you wanted to, but you know, just we're going to kind of ignore that. One of the most common problems we see when people start hooking these machines up is instead of hooking the water line up to the pump here, they hook it up here. Okay, that's that's no good because that's going to actually flood the entire press up with water. Okay. So there's the introduction of the water hookup line. The next thing we need to do is we need to hook power to this machine. So over here we have a box, you can see it's, there's plenty of knockouts on it here all the way around. There's also some available on the bottom, but this is where we actually hook the power to the machine. Okay, We have this box open so we can show this a little better. Um, so we have the distribution blocks in there. Go ahead and you, need, you hook it up uh, however your particular power requires. Okay, This one here is single phase, we also offer them in three phase. So, and that must be done by a certified electrician, I should point that out as well. Um, we also do have a label here on the box that calls out the wire size required too. And if it is a three-phase machine, it'll say three-phase on this panel as well. So as we get walking around the machine, let me go back around this way. Once you have the power and the water hooked up accordingly, uh, the next step here on one of these manual presses is to just go ahead and turn it on. So the first thing you're going to do is reach down here on your boiler. You're going to turn the boiler on. The first thing you will see is the is there will be a low water switch. That light will come on. You just come up here and you hit the reset button. That'll that'll clear that off when you start it. The machine will not fill up or will not heat with the low water light on. As you can see, as we hit the reset button, it started heating again. Okay. Uh, this machine will heat to maintain a pressure set point. These go out at an 80 pound set point. If you look behind the iron stand here, this is kind of hard to see because we have the iron strapped on there. These will run at 80 pounds. Okay. Do not attempt to use the press until it reaches 80 pounds of pressure and your heating light turns off. Okay. After it comes up to temperature and has the 80 pound pressure, this heating light will turn off and then as you use it will turn off and on again. But for the very first time, let it heat up all the way before you start using it. We do have the sight glass here. It lets you know how much water is in the boiler. Okay. Now once you have it on and you've hit that reset button the first time, that low water light should not come on again as long as you're using it. Okay. If it does, there might be a problem with the machine. But at this point here, this one's already warmed up actually. It takes about 15 minutes or so to warm up, 15 minutes to half an hour depending on the water level and the water temperature coming in. But once you have, you're at your 80 pounds and your heating light you know, is stable, you can go ahead and you can start using the machine. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn the vacuum on. So as we come over to here, we can see our vacuum system. I'm gonna explain this with the 
vacuum off because it's extremely loud. But the, the vacuum here, this blower assembly, will suck air either from the buck if the buck valve's open or from this check valve if the buck valve's closed. It'll pull it in and it'll push it back out this tube here. When I start the press, I'll be able to show how uh, you know the air comes out of here. This is going to be extremely loud. It's going to be extremely hot air and there's going to be some moisture to it. Our recommendation is that this gets plumbed into like a different room. It gets plumbed outside. It gets plumbed somewhere else away from the machine. Okay. We do also offer mufflers for these. We do not recommend that though as a first option because the muffler will damper the performance of the blower. Okay. To turn the blower on, you come over here and you flip this switch up. You hear the blower starting. The three-phase blowers do start a little faster. Hard to see here. Let me grab a rag. You can see when it's wired up correctly, this will be your discharge. And over here will be your inlet. Okay? And then as soon as I press the as soon as I press the buck vacuum pedal down, which is the one on the left, you can see the vacuum goes up to the buck. That's what allows you to spread your garment out. Okay? So at this point here, I'm gonna actually turn the vacuum off because it's rather loud. But at this point here, you know your your left pedal will work with your vacuum when it's running. Your right pedal is your buck steam. So if I hit this right pedal with the boiler on, you will see the steam rise out of the buck, as expected. And then, of course, your head steam, when you close the press, the lever on the right will activate your head steam. Oop, sorry. The lever on the left will activate your head steam. I'm not sure why. Usually I don't mess that one up, but the lever on the right, of course, <laughs> is your trip lever, which will open the press. Here, I'll actually show it again so you can really see how it comes out of the holes in the head there. So, of course, I don't recommend doing that on your press because it gets your arm really hot. But, so there we have it. That is the basic quick start guide to our Unity Model H machine. A couple notes I want to add, though, is there are variations we make on these. We make a couple different heads and a couple different options. If you have a laundry machine, so a laundry, this is a dry cleaning press here. If you order it with the laundry head and buck, you're gonna get a nice chrome plated head without the spray steam option. And you're gonna get a nice solid buck without spray steam. That machine will also not come with the vacuum option. So you will not have any of this on the laundry machine. And instead your boiler, instead of offering the spray steam, you won't actually get this extra pedal either. Your boiler will serve the purpose of only circulating steam through the head and the buck to keep the machine warm. And as always with this, these machines, if you have any questions, you can call our technical support line or you can contact your sales representative and we can get you in touch with the guys that build it.